Hi, Brian from the EAW Applications team here. Today we'll be discussing how to design a system offline, knowing exactly what equipment will be used. This type of setup is useful in multiple situations. For example, a front of house engineer may dial in a system or multiple systems before arriving on location. The first step is to acquire the dimensions of the venue. This includes room and stage dimensions, and if applicable, rake and balcony dimensions. The particular system we'll be working with today is comprised of six RSX 208L arrayable speakers, an RSX 18 subwoofer, and an RSX 89 full range loudspeaker, all per side. Now let's get started. First, tap the Mosaic app, then tap either the plus symbol or create new system. For this example, we'll choose empty for rigs and outdoor for venues. Notice your choices eliminate green around the borders. This confirms your choices, and as long as that all looks correct, click Create New System to continue. On the next screen, which is your rigs view, tap on the speaker shelf icon at the upper right corner of Mosaic. Notice your radius series speakers all appear horizontally at the top of the screen. Let's begin designing the system by tapping our RSX 28L and dragging it and releasing it over to house left. You'll be prompted to select the quantity, and in this case, we have six on house left, and we have six on house right. Let's do the same for our RSX 18 subwoofer. And lastly, our RSX 89. Now that the system is in place, let's move on to optimizing the arrays and predicting the results. Switch from Rigs view to Venues view by tapping the Venue view button at the top of Mosaic. Then tap Tools or the gear icon and choose between Imperial, Feet, or Metric meters. You may also change your safety factor. Notice by doing so, you'll be prompted to read a warning message. Please make sure you understand this message before clicking Agree and Continuing. On the sidebar, you may key in any dimensions that need updating. Click Done once complete. Alternately, you may manually change any of the dimensions simply by tapping and dragging on the main mosaic screen. You may select between three different views, ISO, top, and side. Now that the venue is complete, tap the Speakers button, then tap the Optimize Arrays button. Here, you'll have the option to optimize current arrays or replace with new Optimize Arrays. We'll stick with Optimize Current Arrays, and we'll be able to choose our coverage goal, whether we want to fly our arrays high or low. We'll also be able to set our SPL requirement Once done, tap the Optimize Arrays button. Now, as you see on the main screen, your arrays have been optimized. You'll be able to key in any changes you'd like to make to any of the speaker positions. You'll also be able to zoom in and tap and drag on any speaker and manually move it to a new position. Finally, tap the prediction icon. Prediction will go through five stages of calculation. Once complete, you'll be able to look at the results under the three views we spoke of earlier. ISO, top, and side.